overwhelming, breathtaking, mysterious. There are many words to describe our view of the nighttime firmament, where the human eye becomes ineffective. The most modern technology of our time comes into play. As we all know, the James Webb Space Telescope is currently dedicated to the exciting task of tracking down the great mysteries of the cosmos and making them visible to us. Today, we would like to take a literal look at just how technically superior Webb is to its predecessors. In view of the astonishing comparisons and new findings, one thing above all becomes clear to us. Just because a secret of the universe has been discovered, this does not mean that it has been completely uncovered. Do you like our videos and want to support us for free? Then please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel to become part of the Simply Space community. We also appreciate it when you write us your thoughts about our videos in the comments. Revolutionary Insights in media coverage, the James Webb Telescope is often dubbed a replacement for Hubble. But if the views of NASA's leading experts are anything to go by, the term scientific successor is far more accurate. After all, many of the research goals that Webb is currently addressing and will address in future years were inspired and made possible in the first place by the results delivered by Hubble. In order to add to the revolutionary body of knowledge that Hubble's use has revealed to us, it seemed only logical to develop a successor specifically designed for infrared astronomy. This is because the light of far distant and thus also early areas of the cosmos is shifted into the near infrared due to the cosmological red shift. With its unprecedented technical precision, the James Webb Telescope allows us to catch glimpses of those first luminous objects and galaxies that emerged after the birth of the universe and the so-called Dark Ages. Furthermore, the $10 billion instrument looks deeper than ever into the mysterious world of stellar cradles, analyzing the chemical and atmospheric compositions of extrasolar planets in unprecedented detail. A look at the following images shows the breathtaking developments that telescope-based space exploration has already made in the past. Although the images produced by WISE, Spitzer, and Webb depict one and the same region of the sky, they could not be more different in terms of quality and detail. While the wise image shows nothing more than a blurry collection of coarse points of light, we can at least make out something like individual structures on the Spitzer image. What Webb captured for us finally shows us the sky in its true glory. On the much sharper image, we see countless sparkling shapes and complex cloud structures that we could not even guess at in the previous images. A star cradle in comparison. A look at the Carina Nebula also shows what the often cited dawn of a new research chapter is all about visually. Located in the constellation Keel of the Ship and about 9,000 light years away from us, the colossal structure has a reach of up to 300 light years. In detail, the Carina Nebula embodies one of the most significant stellar cradles in the Milky Way. And yet, a brief comparison between the Hubble and Webb images reveals how many sparkling secrets once lay hidden behind the dense clouds of dust and gas. In fact, many of the objects that Webb captured in the infrared were completely invisible in the previous images. How a Star is Formed Speaking of cosmic star cradles, it's worth taking a look at the stunning image Webb made of a protostar in dark cloud L1527. Basically, Stars are born when a cloud of dust and gas collapses under the weight of its own gravity. As a result, the matter in the center is compressed to such an extent that the molecular hydrogen decays to atoms. The protostar that is created in the course of this process already glows, but it still has too little mass to ignite the fusion of hydrogen. This is not possible until the stellar baby accretes enough additional material and become sufficiently dense. This is a development that is currently still in full swing in the protostar, which is about 100,000 years old. In detail, this can be seen in the form of a bright spot slumbering in the center of the hourglass-shaped structure. 
consisting of gas and dust. The stellar cocoon reveals to us in infrared light where particles and gases ejected from the protostar collide with the surrounding material. Just like human babies, the stellar infant burps from time to time. These present themselves as bubble-like objects in the upper part of the hourglass and are the result of shock fronts of hot hydrogen gas. Breakthrough in Planetary Research it's probably the central question of our time. Are we alone in the universe? Anyone who takes a closer look at this exciting topic is inevitably confronted with another question. Is Earth the only celestial body in the cosmos that harbors life, or at least provides the necessary conditions for it? To study an exoplanet in terms of its potential habitability, it is essential to decipher the exact nature of its atmosphere. Only in this way is it possible for us to make statements about the friendliness or hostility to life forms on other celestial bodies. And indeed, the James Webb Telescope should now reach an absolute milestone in this respect. With the help of the collected spectral data, the experts were able to analyze the atmosphere of an exoplanet more precisely than ever before. This was an astronomical sensation that Webb's predecessors had not been able to achieve due to their technical limitations. This is now a thing of the past, thanks to Webb's near-spec spectrograph and the nearest instrument. As soon as a planet apparently passes its host star, the atoms and molecules of the atmosphere perpetuate telltale absorption lines in the light spectrum. The gas giant WASP-39b, about 700 light-years away, shows us how revealing the investigation of such transit signatures can be, since this planetary colossus exceeds the size of the mighty Jupiter by a factor of 1.3. The decoding of its gas envelope proved to be particularly revealing. In addition to the previously recorded carbon dioxide and water deposits, Webb's instruments also revealed the presence of sodium, potassium, and carbon monoxide. In the same breath, it was revealed that the planet's atmosphere does not appear to contain methane, a fact in which WASP-39b differs significantly from some of the gas giants in our home system. Particularly interesting, in the acquired spectra, the experts detected an absorption line that initially could not be placed in a known context. The comparison with models then provided the insight that we are dealing here with a trace of a molecule that has never before been observed on an exoplanet, sulfur dioxide. Findings and Outlook This conclusion is especially significant because sulfur is commonly found on gas giants, mainly as hydrogen sulfide, and because it can give us clues about the extrasolar world's formation history. Accordingly, the surprisingly high sulfur dioxide content, combined with the ratios of other elements to oxygen, suggests that the atmosphere of WASP-39b contains up to 30 times more heavy elements than the Sun. The low volatile element content should also not be ignored here. From our current models, gas giants are formed by the collapse of dense gas assemblies in protoplanetary disks. The high proportion of light elements serves as an indication of this formation background. However, However, the matter is somewhat different in the case of enrichment with solids. As a result of the obtained information, therefore, it's concluded that the extrasolar gas planet was probably formed in a similar way as Jupiter and Saturn. Initially, a solid planetary nucleus formed before massive amounts of gas were accreted as a result of the accreting gravity. The data provided by Webb mark nothing less than a major turning point in exoplanet research. Accordingly, they provide us with completely new insights into the evolution, chemistry, and physics of alien cosmic worlds, and will possibly help to prove the existence of extraterrestrial life in the future. Looking back As mentioned earlier, however, deciphering extrasolar planets is just one of several exciting research goals. Webb has been given on its journey through space. The question of the origins and characteristics of the universe's first stars and galaxies has also kept scientists spellbound for some time. The first images already confirm that Webb achieves the task with flying colors. Researchers identified several formations that could be the oldest known galaxies of all. With a redshift of 13.1, the galaxy candidate, Glass Z13, might have seen the cosmic light of day 300 million years after the Big Bang. The problem is that detailed spectral data are essential to verify the age and nature of galactic candidates. 
In fact, supposedly ancient galaxies may turn out to be much younger stellar assemblages in analysis. While we lack the relevant data in the past, they have now been collected and revealed for the first time in Webb's history. The Space Telescope provided the spectral data of 250 old galaxies. The result? Four of the studied constructs have a particularly high redshift. The oldest of all investigated galaxies has the scientific designation Jades GS Z13-0, and it existed 13.5 billion years ago. In addition, some characteristics of the early galaxies have already been determined. They were relatively small assemblies, whose star formation rate was about 1 to 2 solar masses per year. But also in this case, it has to be said that the unveiling of this early universe has just begun. The experts have already discovered several more primordial galaxy candidates that need to be analyzed spectroscopically in the near future. And now we'll analyze your opinion. What do you think about the groundbreaking insights and findings that the James Webb Telescope has already revealed to us? Let your thoughts on today's video soar and write them in the comments below. Also, feel free to leave us a like and subscribe to stay up to date from now on. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.